Hello, 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 and welcome to another edition of Pam Dorsey's Girl Affirm Yourself Affirmation. Yes, honey, it's a new week, new beginnings, fresh starts. Ah, dwell in it, right? Ah, yes, yes, yes. All right, so I'm here with today's Girl Affirm Yourself Affirmation. First, let me do my introduction, right? I'm excited to get this one to y'all. <laughs> Pam Dorsey Enterprises, it is the place where you can become the next best version of you. I am here to remind you to affirm yourself daily, enjoy every single second of your self-love journey, and to walk authentically, boldly, and confidently into the next best version of you. Find out more at PamDorsey.com. All right, here we go. Today's girl affirm yourself affirmation is this. I am basking in the moments that take my breath away. I am basking in the moments that take my breath away. What does it mean to bask in something? To relax in a pleasant atmosphere is one ver one version. One definition, the second definition says to take pleasure or derive enjoyment. I am basking. I am enjoying. I am in a pleasant atmosphere. Those are the moments that take your breath away. Today's girl affirm yourself affirmation. I am basking in the moments that take my breath away. I am dwelling in the moments that take my breath away. Let me tell you where this came from. Y'all know I love birthdays. My birthday was July 9th. If y'all was around these Pam Dorsey Enterprise streets, y'all know that I was like on 1010, all right? <laughs> So I'm going to give you a snippet of my journal entry at the end of my birthday. Before I closed my eyes and went to bed on my birthday, this is a little bit of what I journaled. My God, where do I begin? I can't begin to sum up this day. It has been beyond my wildest hopes and dreams. The love that was poured out on me today was nothing short of God's expression of his love for me through others. I made myself stay present, catch that, in each moment and soak it all in bask in it, right? I have been drenched in his overwhelming love all day. I never experienced a love like this. And I must say that I know it is because I have learned and continue to love me deeply. My self-love journey led me directly to this day where I could appreciate the celebration of me appreciate the celebration of me because I couldn't always and bask in it completely to the fullness. This is what overflow. This is what overflow feels like. I want to rest here, stay here, take up residency here in this place, in these feelings, with these emotions, but catch this. If I hold on to them for too long, I can't experience the next overwhelming abundance, the overflow that is coming that exceeds even this, even this moment, my God, even all that I've, even all that I've experienced today. Yes, it gets better then this is not it. This is not all. There is more. I am becoming more because I want more. Because there is more. <sighs> Breathe. Long sigh. <sighs> Breathe. Refreshing release of such an amazing, amazingly, abundantly, overwhelming, overfilled, joyous day. 
So even in the moments that take my breath away, even as I'm basking in the pleasant atmosphere and the um, pleasures of the current moment, although I soak it all in while I'm in the moment, I have to realize that I can't stay here forever. Why? Because if I stay here, I forfeit the places, the things, the experiences, the feelings, the excitement, the joys that even exceeds this moment. Ah, that's good right there. Y'all catch that. Stay present in the moment. Soak it all up. Let it marinate. Set your soul on fire, right? Bask in the moments that take your breath away in the moment, but don't stay there. Don't stay there because you cannot afford to forfeit the even even more overwhelming, joyous occasions, times, people and pra- places and presences that you're going to go that you're going to go to even beyond this point. I am basking in the moments that take my breath away. Y'all, when I walked in the door on my birthday and I saw all of the purple decorations and the beautiful, beautiful bouquet of all of those elegantly placed purple flowers that that I feel like God placed specifically as he needed them to, right? For me, because he knew that my purple heart was going to scream. Even in that, even in that moment and all of the amazingness that took place on my birthday, I had to soak it in. I had to bask in it. I had to enjoy it. I had to stay present. Like I said, I had to make myself stay present in the moment and make sure I soaked it all up, make sure I bask in it, make sure that I enjoyed it. Every single moment, because each single each single individual moment that shaped my birthday took my breath away. I had to enjoy it in the moment. But then as I was journaling, God reminded me, Pam, you can't stay here. You can't stay in this. You have to release it. You have to you enjoyed it. You got what you needed from it. Now you have to breathe let it go because you have to be in expectation of the even the next best great thing that's going to come right because it exceeds each level goes high higher and higher so even in this even in whatever your great thing is Soak it all in, bask in it, dwell in it, marinate in it, and then let it go. Because better is on the way. As I say often, the next best version of you awaits. Not to negate anything that has gone on in your life or anything that is happening in your life right now. Enjoy every stinking freaking piece of it. Every bit of it. Dwell in it. Bask in it. Marinate in it. Fill all the juice the juices, smell the aromas, get all the feels, get all of that. Don't don't skip a beat. Don't miss any of it. But after you do all that, breathe and let it go because better is on the way. And you can't stay here. You can't hold on tightly to this it, it, beyond exciting, beyond joyous moment. You can't stay here because there's more that's waiting. Ah, that was good right there. I hope, pray, and trust this message touched you where you needed to be touched, to help you, to remind you, to love you, every single ounce of you. Today's Girl Affirm Yourself Affirmation, I am basking in the moments that take my breath away. Yes. And I excitedly look forward to the next moments that's going to take my breath away all the more. Yes, honey. Yes, honey. Yes, honey. (laughs) Grab my Girl Affirm Yourself book. It is going to bless your soul. I do a happy dance each time I sit to autograph. Click the link in the bio. I'll be more than joy-filled to to ship one to you. Until next time, y'all, enjoy a tremendously marvelous Monday. Until next time, purple kisses.